Hello all, JT here. If you are a brand new user to the Lattice One and MetaMask, or an existing user of MetaMask wanting to use the Lattice One to sign transactions, this video is for you. We're gonna show you how to set it up. Let's get started. This guide is for the desktop version of MetaMask only. For brand new users, head directly to metamask.io and follow the instructions to install the MetaMask extension. Go ahead and pin MetaMask for easy access. Click Get Started. You can also import a wallet, but it will be a hot wallet, which is not protected by your Lattice One. If you prefer to use a hot wallet for certain things, it's an option available on this page. Click Create Wallet. MetaMask will require you to set up a wallet. Next, click I agree or no thanks on the help improve MetaMask message. Set a password. If you forget this password, reinstall MetaMask. It's good to keep, but not crucial when it comes to managing your assets. There is an information video that will pop up. You can review this if you'd like, otherwise click next. Here is the seed phrase menu. If you plan on using your Lattice One exclusively to sign all transactions, you need not save this seed phrase unless you want to have it around as a hot wallet. In order to avoid getting pop-up reminders to back up this seed phrase, we recommend going ahead with the confirmation prompts. If you are using MetaMask currently, just connect the Lattice One under Connect Hardware Wallet in the menu. Use the following steps to connect and then transfer your existing MetaMask assets to your Lattice address. Head to the menu and click Connect Hardware Wallet. Select Lattice One and click Continue. This will open a new browser tab with the secure Grid Plus Lattice One connector module at lattice.gridplus.io. You will need to enter your device ID and a password on this page. You can easily reset this password by deleting the MetaMask permission on your Lattice and reconnecting. Your device ID can be found on the Lattice One main menu screen. Just tap on Device ID. Enter any password you like and press Connect. Now we see a new screen asking you to enter a secret, which will now be displayed on your Lattice One screen. Once you type in the correct secret, your MetaMask app will be paired to your Lattice One. You will now be taken back to MetaMask to the Select an Account screen. Here you will import all the addresses from your wallet on the Lattice One that you wish to use with MetaMask. Each address will create a new MetaMask account. The first address will be imported as Lattice One, second as Lattice Two, etc. All of these new accounts will be linked to the Lattice One. Newly imported Lattice or SafeCard accounts will have the hardware tag. Additionally, you can easily rename these accounts in MetaMask. All transaction requests from these accounts will also require your approval on the hardware screen. And with that, you are good to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Head on over to our website, gridplus.io. We also have Reddit, Discord, and Twitter. On behalf of the GridPlus team, my name is JT. Cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.